In the last video, we have understood the limitation of a is a relationship of inheritance, right? Now, let us try to understand what is the meaning of replacing the is a relationship of inheritance with is substitutable for relationship in inheritance in this video. Let us update the previous program using the LISCO substitution principle. But before that, let us try to understand some important points we need to remember while considering the design principle of LSP. And let us fix the LSP violation. The first thing we need to remember is follow the tell don't ask principle. So what is the meaning of tell don't ask principle means don't ask for their types and then conditionally perform different actions. For example, in the last module, we had different types of employees, right? For example, manager, developer, salesperson, etc. Where we are trying to calculate the payrolls of the employee, right? Now, let us assume that if the developers doesn't follow a proper architecture, then usually the expected way a developer will write the code is if employee type is manager then ask for the manager class to calculate the payroll and then print the details accordingly and if the employee type is developer then ask the developer class to calculate the payroll so this should not happen okay instead what we need to perform is encapsulate that logic in the type itself and tell it to perform the action remember that packaging state and behavior together is the basic principle what we need to follow in object oriented design now if tell don't ask principle is followed the calculate payrolls method can simply loop over the collection of employees and tell each one to calculate the payroll itself whether the particular employee is a manager or a developer or a salesperson is irrelevant to the calculate payrolls method and the logic specific to each type is now encapsulated within the type resulting in a more modular and cohesive design and if you recollect the last module, the way we handle the calculate payrolls functionality can be considered as a real time example of following the LISCO substitution principle. Now, let us update the previous program using the LISCO substitution principle. First, let me create a new file with the name lsp.py. And as usual, let me provide the room space for the coding. Now let me create a class called as shape. So let me type in class shape colon def thunder init of self colon self dot underscore width equal to zero self dot underscore height equal to zero. Now let me define the setters and getter methods for the width. So let me type in def get underscore width of self colon return self dot underscore width and def set underscore width of self comma value colon self dot underscore width equal to value similarly let me define the setters and getter methods for the height so let me type in def get underscore height of self colon written self dot underscore height and def set underscore height of self comma value colon self dot underscore height equal to value now let us define the properties so let me type in width equal to property of get underscore width comma set underscore width and height equal to property of get underscore height comma set underscore height now the class shape will be our base class using that let us create our rectangle and square shapes so let me type in class rectangle of shape colon if you recollect the same code i have written in the last time for our rectangle class so there won't be any change as a result let me type in pass next let us try to create our next shape that is square so let me type in class square of shape colon now if you observe the base class is not rectangle 
the base class for both rectangle and square is a shape right so it is perfectly satisfying our is a relationship now let me define the setter and getter methods for the width and height so let me type in def get underscore width of self colon return self dot width def set underscore width of self comma value colon this time let us perform some condition check the shape of the width and height remains same then only we consider that as a square right so let me type in if value is not equal to self dot underscore height and self dot underscore width is not equal to zero then we know that the height and width value is wrong so we need to raise an error so let me type in raise exception of width and height for square cannot be different else colon i will try to set the width and height with the same value so let me type in self dot underscore width equal to value and self dot underscore height equal to value next let me do the same thing for the height also now you can observe we have defined a setter and getter method for the height now let us set the width and height properties so let me type in width equal to property of get underscore width comma set underscore width and height equal to property of get underscore height comma set underscore height now once we have defined our shape classes that is rectangle and square let us define the class area calculator to perform the calculations so let me type in class area calculator colon def calculate area of self comma shapes colon for shape in shapes colon print f of area colon shape dot width times shape dot height now let us write the code for the main application to use these shapes so let me type in square equal to square and let me set the square dot height equal to 10 and we know that for the square as per the definition if we set the value for either height or width the same value will be assigned for the other right now let us define an instance for the rectangle class so let me type in rectangle equal to rectangle and we need to set the height and width for the rectangle so let me type in rectangle dot width equal to 10 and rectangle dot height equal to 5 now let us define the list for maintaining these shapes so let me type in shapes equal to square comma rectangle now let us calculate the area for the shape so let me type in area calculator dot calculate area of shapes now let us execute our application now let us execute our application to verify is it working properly or not and we can observe for square the area is 100 and for the rectangle we have got 50 which is correct right next we need to understand some details while working with python when compared with other languages like c sharp or java next we need to understand some details while working with python when compared with the other languages like c sharp or java so let us continue this example further now along with the shapes rectangle and square we have a line also right so let me try to create a class called as line and we know that line does not have a width or height so i'm not inheriting from the shape class okay but line will have a length so let us define a constructor to set the value for the length so let me type in def thunder init of self comma length colon self dot length equal to length now let me create an instance for the class line so let me type in line equal to line of 10 and let me add this line also in the list of shapes and once again let me execute the code we can observe there is an error displayed as there is no width and height property value as it is not inheriting from the shape class so let us try to provide some meaningful information to the developer stating that for the calculate area method we need to pass only list of shapes not the other objects so to do that let me type in from typing import list and within the method arguments let me type in shapes colon list of shape class this is an information which specifies that we need to pass only list of shapes as an argument value if we have done the same in c sharp or java it works perfectly and it will not allow other object types but remember one important point 
python supports duct typing and what is duct typing i will explain shortly now let us continue with our code to understand now let us continue with our code to understand one important concept in python especially with respect to object oriented programming so first let me comment the class line and now let me create a new class with the name box so let me type in class box colon but observe box class is not a derived class of shape but we know that box is also a shape which will have a height and width right so let us define a constructor to set the values so let me type in def thunder in it of self comma width comma height colon self dot underscore width equal to width and self dot height equal to height now observe the width name it is using underscore width as its name okay let me comment the instance of the line also now let me create an instance for the box class so let me type in box equal to box of 10 comma 20 and let me remove the line from our list and add the box object now let me execute the code once again we can observe an error stating box object has no attribute width okay what i do now is instead of underscore width let me change it as width and once again let me execute the program now we can observe everything is working perfectly in spite the box is not inheriting from the shape class why because if you remember i used a term called as duct typing is supported in python so what is duct typing means remember that the name duct typing comes from the famous phrase stating if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck then it is a duck so remember that duct typing is a type system which is supported by most of the dynamic languages for example like python perl javascript etc where the type of the class of an object is less important than the method it defines so using duct typing we do not check types at all instead we will check only the presence of a given method or an attribute in this case it will check the presence of width and height attributes only and i guess now you might have understood in spite we haven't uh, have an interface how we are considering a class as the implementation class of the interfaces i hope you have understood the lisco substitution principle Tell, don't ask is a great way to do this. Finally, whenever you implement an interface or inherit from a base class, make sure you fully implement it. And in the next video, let us try to understand the fourth principle in solid principles that is interface segregation principle.